Hi, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Right, today we're going to the Griffin Brewery and it's from the Fuller's Smith and Turner. Fuller's is the main one here. As you can see, the 1845. This is a English Strong Ale coming at 6.3% ABV, I think. Yep. Uh, this is a 500ml bottle. You know, you can get this in quite a few of the main supermarkets in the UK um, so yeah I mean I've, I've had this beer probably three or four times and wanted to review it and I always get caught up in the hangout I think oh I can just get it again and blah de blah um, I'm actually on a hangout now I wasn't going to review it um, so yeah so check out Albino Rhino's uh, page I'll put that down below while I'm reviewing this um, so yeah, this is a bottle conditioned ale mature to perfection for 100 days. Uh, this is brewed beside the Thames since 1845. Um, there's a little bit of information. This beer was first brewed in 1995 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Fuller's Smith and Turner. This is a bottle. This is uh, let me get this right. The bottle uh, condition recipe is inspired by the original Fuller's Brewing books. I'm not going to go into any more of that. Because it goes into tasting notes so anyway there is the crown let's crack this open then if i can find a bottle opener just over here i purchased this in the supermarket in the uk called sainsbury's and it's almost popping out the top there let's get a glass People are like, oh, it's not the right style glass. Um, I'm drinking it, so whatever. Let's leave it like that so I can get my big fat nose in there. So it's a clear beer, but although it's very kind of like a, a, a lightish mahogany ruby colour. Very kind of traditional looking strong, English strong beer or strong ale, whatever you want to call it. General carbonation running through the beer, I don't know if you could pick that up. You know what carbonation looks like. It's it's just an off-white head, just covering the top of the beer, nothing too trivial with that gentle pour. Yeah, it's got that kind of dark fruit kind of look to it. I guess we'll get it in the in the aroma as well. Although this is just out of the fridge, probably not the best serving temperature. But you are picking up that kind of dark fruit edge, maybe some raisins, dried dark fruit, maybe some dates. It's slightly sweet, slightly vinous, maybe some I don't know, red grape. Got a slight fruit cakey kind of Christmas edge to it. There's a, there's possibly a hint of spice in there, but as a, again, it's it's a bit too cold really. But maybe it'll come out in the flavour. Hmm. So at last, I get to try and review this. I've had this a few times, so let's give it a try on camera. Cheers. It's almost got a slight rum quality to it. That kind of slightly dried dark fruit. Definitely dried. There's also something else going on in there. Slightly sweet. Very kind of rich. 6.3%. You're not picking up the ABV, but it's just full of flavour. So that kind of gives you an inkling that mm, big flavours bigger ABV kind of thing. Not always the case, I mean there's there's some real low ABV beers, perhaps not in this style of beer. Maybe in the um the you know the the IPAs or the lowest session IPAs, three percent, 
here in the UK one or two breweries do that and it's like really do pack a punch although it's not this style of course but yeah generally this style it's a bigger ABV it's strong there's a slight woody kind of quality to it slightly kind of peppery oh, there's a slight sweetness like vanilla maybe a little bit of kind of maybe cinnamon something like that it reminds me very much of a Christmas beer but been aged in, in an oak barrel as it says is it 100 days it doesn't really say um, I'll go on it says the amber malt and Golding's hops so it's Goldings or East Kent Goldings. Um, normally, it says East Kent Goldings if it's um, within within the vicinity of Kent. So perhaps it's Goldings from another county in the UK. Um, hops to combine a delicious fruit cake aroma. As this beer is bottle conditioned, we recommend it stored upright. Blah blah. Pour carefully. That kind of jazz. Um, Brewed by Forrest Smith and Turner, PLC, Griffin Brewery, Ches Cheswick, Cheswick Lane, uh, South London. The website is www.fullers.co.uk. This has got best before the 1st of June of 2019, so you can age this for quite a while. I, this is the type of beer that I reckon you could age for five, five to eight years, or maybe ten years. And... I'd be really intrigued how that actually tasted. I think that the the, uh, the best buy date or drink buy or use buy or whatever the hell buy is kind of like a, uh, a guide. Um, but this, I mean, East apart from the East Kent Goldings, which, not being funny, is a very subtle kind of hop anyway here in the UK. Um, more of a slightly floral herbal I'm not picking up any kind of hop characteristic in this beer it's more about the malt so yeah I reckon just just for a test you could age this for five years give it a try interesting one so it's going to be a slightly longer longer analysis of this beer um, I am in a hangout but I want to give this beer justice really because I mean this is a lot of people kind of look down upon some of the uh, the cast beer beers here in the UK and I've, I've found over time generally drinking I used to drink a lot I still drink a fair bit of cast beer and pubs and stuff here in the UK um, you don't get many Fuller's beers on cask away from their branded pubs more in London kind of area or and for it not so much this side of London here in Kent um, which is a real shame but when I do try them these beers generally in bottles I'm finding that, that they're actually they're above what a lot of cask beers are um, I've been to one or two Fuller's pubs and I've been very impressed in their in their bars what they produce for this style of beer for cast beer here in the UK very very good and and they're very well um, a lot of lot of reviewers in America even really do rate this brewery quite a lot especially my good friend Paul from PA Bruno so check his channel out as well um, I'm waffling a little bit, I know. I'll just pour this little little bit more in. I'll give it a final taste, and I'll uh, I'll quit jabbering, and I'll let you go on your merry way. I was going to read the commercial description, but I think I've generally done it. Um, it's a slightly different one, but I, I'll put a couple of versions down below, so. So as for a rating for this beer, now it's warming up a little bit because I've been talking for half an hour. 
it's kind of got a nice Christmassy rum, slightly rum, dark fruit kind of flavour to it. Not too over sweet. Nice balance between sweet sweetness and the kind of not bitterness, but yeah, it's a sweet malt almost. Anyway, I'm 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 just blah, 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 as um, my good friend um, over at the Clueless Drinker Pete would say. Um, so a rating then, I'm giving this I'm giving this an eight and a half out of ten. I think it's a really good beer. Um, it's widely available here in the UK, so if you're in the UK watching this, definitely one to seek out. A good winter beer. Um, we're coming into the winter months now. I'm reviewing this on the 14th of September of 2017. So there's a burp here, sorry. <coughs> so yeah, eight and a half out of ten for me. If you've had this beer before from Fuller's, is their 1845, their strong ale, matured to perfection for 100 days bottle conditioned ale let us know your thoughts and opinions um, if I do remember I'll put links down below of, of my my friends that I watch regularly down below check out my Fuller's playlist thanks for watching if you need to channel please subscribe and all that jazz would be really good and I'll see you on the next review cheers <laughs>